chat streaming crazy. This video is for those of you who are either worried about how to format your labs up front or you've had the instructor pestering you to format it a little bit cleaner way. Uh, we'll talk about copying and pasting both in Word and from StatCrunch into Word. So starting out, you can see I have my computer lab packet. I'm going to go to the worksheet that I'm working on. So let's pretend like we're doing lab one. So I'm going to go to lab one. Here's the worksheet. I'm just going to highlight everything from that worksheet. I'll go ahead and highlight my directions. I'm going to right click and copy, or I could do control C to copy. I'm going to create a new document. Control N in my new document. Uh, control V, or I could right click and paste. Click my new stuff in. I'm going to keep my original formatting so everything looks the same. All right. So now I have an answer sheet. So I could come up here and put my name up here. I uh, finished. Question one, I could put answers in here. There's 10 in this group. The mean is 18.25. Standard deviation was 3.45. You can see how I can do that. Come down here, I can put answers down here. There was an uh, interval width of 18, whatever. If you want to, sometimes it helps as you add answers if you highlight those answers so they're easier for us to pick up. Do the same up here. I come up and highlight those and use my highlighter tool to highlight them. All right, so I filled out my answer sheet down here where it's asking for stat crunch. We prefer that your stat crunch results are pasted into this same Word document. So how do you do that? I've already run my stat crunch over here, which is one of my results boxes. It's showing me my descriptive statistics for group one and two in lab one. And click options and then copy. So I've copied it. I can come back to my Word document. Control V or right click paste to paste it in there. Again, I'm going to keep my source formatting so it's a nice table. Come over to my whole table or my total sample. Copy it. Come over. Paste. Let me keep my source formatting. There it is. Last thing is my histogram. Options. Copy. Paste it. Alright, let's take a picture. Um, after I've followed my directions, I could go ahead and delete those. You don't have to paste them over. But basically what you're doing is leaving just lab one answer sheet. I would want to save that, so control S to save. And I would name it, save it wherever you're going to, and then you can submit it through Blackboard. Hope that makes sense, helps you out some. Let your instructor know if you have questions. Thanks, guys, and keep on rocking the stats in the free world.